Frankie or something. Right. Maybe you are Frank, actually. My shoe's not. Frank um, <laughs> is showing his... My um, shoe's not. Um, doing a Cinderella. <laughs> uh, um, with, with Eliminator, when was that actually recorded? Uh, a year ago last March. It was uh, completed in March of 83. Three. Three, yeah. We worked for about three months in Memphis on that. Um, three it, fun months. Um, well, it, the album itself was sort of a refreshing, I, 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 I agree with the critics, where they say it was a refreshing approach to music, even though it was what you were doing for a long time, um, in the fact that it brought people, I think people were getting so bored with that synthesized mm -hmm. jumble that was sort of coming from everywhere, that um, it was sort of like a good brand of rock and roll. And it's an album that stuck around for a while. Did you expect it to be so successful as it had? Oh, I... Well, you don't think not, not as successful as it has been. I mean, yeah. I guess I didn't think about it. You know, you, you don't try to think how many it's going to yeah. sell or how long it's going to stay up. It has done very well and stayed around a long time, and which is wonderful. And right. we just take it at that. But uh, as far as audiences are concerned, I mean, you, you must have some idea because you're in, in even that, like contact and just playing to audiences. Do you think they'd, be, they'd become bored with music and they needed rock and roll, you know, the source of rock and roll back? We felt, we felt good about that record because we were back playing as a band in the studio. The three of us were in the, in the room instead of being hidden off in some closet communicating by headphones and well, we were actually working off one right. another as it went down. So it, it, from the very beginning, it felt real good to us just to make this kind of a record, you know. That was the playing. most fun album to record, you know, I mean, the actual, in, in the studio time. Now you're saying it took three months. Uh -huh. um, were, did some of the songs evolve in the studio itself or were they all pre-written before you went in? Everything changes, you know, I yeah. mean, one time or another. Yeah, we wrote some of them in the studio. It, we wrote uh, TV the, the slow song. Uh, I Need You Tonight. I Need You Tonight. I need you tonight. We wrote... Uh, Flag her down. Yeah, flag her down. Flag her down. Right. A couple of them. Uh, and the worlds keep changing the songs until we get it recorded. I mean, right. Because we'll keep kind of toying with them, you know. So. Uh, and it really didn't take. Uh, I mean, we say three months, but actually it was a lot quicker. There's a lot of downtime in that three months. Right. Because uh, we'll go and then we'll go off somewhere and, and they have to find us again. You know, yeah, we'll take our band for years. a while. You know? said, See if you can find me. So it went really quick. We'd go in and lay, you know, right. going for three or four days and lay a whole bunch down and then, you know, take off. Now, what, there are albums I, I, I refer to as sort of being a complete album that it seems to sort of fit, everything fits so snugly and just, and I figure that Eliminator is a complete album. I mean, do you feel that? Do you think it's probably the most complete album you've done? The, the, the songs, I think, yeah, stack together yeah. nicely. You know? yeah. Uh, yeah, I think so. Now, you had to also, um, uh, by this stage, approach video. And I was saying to some uh, to, to, to your people outside before you arrived that it was refreshing also the, the approach you made to video, whereas, like, <laughs> video had gone completely, I, I mean, it had Peter Pan flying in the sky and had nothing to do with the damn group that was down there playing. You know? uh, who's I, uh, the concept of the videos, um, were they your ideas or the, well, jointly the, you and the, 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 the videos are a visual on, on the song and the songs were already written. Right. So the concept's already there. I mean, to us, Peter Pan flying around having nothing to do with the song didn't fit, but right. it's the story. Right. Yes, it was and so our we, idea. We didn't want to be uh, us on stage. <laughs> we didn't want to smoke either, did we? Uh, <laughs> you, you know. <laughs> made a pan fly around. Uh, so, you know, a video of a band on stage playing their song is kind of a drag. We right. wanted to be there and not be there. And we found uh, Tim Newman who is, uh, he was able to tune in to like, by talking with us and listening to our music and, and through a couple of meetings to get the idea of what ZZ Top's all about, which is something that has eluded a lot of people right. for 10 years. Well, it certainly and, successfully did that. And uh, so, you know, when we would sit down and, and say, let's do this, let's do that. And, and we would 
you know, come up with these ideas. And the, and the, and the, the videos, in a sense, are a little like being in the studio. Right. I mean, you're there and you, you change things at the very last minute. Uh, the first video, we, we were supposed to stand beside, beside the road and watch the car go by. Right. Well, I just didn't want to stand there, so I don't, Frank, one of y'all came up with this, you know, which is a little thing. Right. Just came up, you know, and everyone's doing that everywhere we go now, you know, which is, but that's like likened to the studio. I mean, uh, right. you know, just things come up. So it, it was a lot of fun, very creative. I mean, it also gave, I mean, apart from the visual image of the band itself, it gave a visual stamp to to the sort of almost the, like your own ideas of marketing and what, what represents ZZ Top too, didn't it? And that's, yeah, I mean, girls, it gave a great girls, 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 girls cards, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was about to say that. You know? yeah. um, I mean, how long did, did it take to do those videos? Show them in three days. Really? Mm -hmm. Three days apiece. Yeah. Well, one of them took six. Right. You had to do it twice. Yeah. yeah but Lab technician ruined the film for a little We do the whole thing again. But about three days is all our part is. I mean, I'm sure they do exterior shots or something yeah. like that. Now, both with, that, with, with, with the album and the videos, um, would it be fair to say that it's opened up a completely new market for ZZ Top? I think it's added to it. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Uh, yeah, you yeah can, we've got the old guys. And their little brothers. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. yeah. Whereas we, we didn't have the little brothers before. Hey, you, see, you see the variety in the crowd now, which is great to see. Mm. You know, uh, 14, 35, or I guess, I don't know what age it is, but good mixture. And the other thing that, that, that's quite astonishing about the album is, I mean, even with Australia, that it just keeps moving up the charts. Yeah. Whereas you would have thought, you know, by now, perhaps you'd, you'd be thinking about another album coming out. And now it's breaking, and when it's broken so big in England, um, is there any thoughts about now going on a world tour? Uh, I'd like to. Yeah, we're going to. Yeah? Uh, it's just a matter of it, it, when we can do it. Right. Know? Well, we're really interested in putting another album out. And we're really interested, you know? interested in touring. Right. Uh, on a worldwide scale. I mean, but right now it's time to put out a record. Yeah. Well, well, I was thinking about having lunch. <laughs> then maybe the record, you know. I don't know. One of the two. Right. Now, um, the other thing that, that's amazing is, is is coming down to Houston and coming to, to this place right here. Um, and the, it, the, the the staff uh, that work around the whole thing of ZZ Top and the whole idea of the... What it, it, it was That was me. That was Tinkerbell. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 is the whole marketing idea of an, a, a proper fan club. I mean, there are so many um, acts that come, I mean, like, say, like, well, I won't mention the particular acts, but, I mean, they, they have supposedly fan clubs that are just totally, number one, they can be a rip-off, and they just don't seem to have much interest. With this... Oh. Oops. What's up in there? You've lost the bottom. This is indestructible tripod. Let's pick it up, pick it up. Yeah, um, with, uh, with with the fan clubs, you know, I mean, there's a lot that, as I say, are either rip-offs or that they just don't have very much interest towards, um, you know, giving the people who do follow a group yeah. uh, a chance to have newsletters and that. With, whereas with this, um, it's completely the other way around. I mean, who's, who, who puts all, whose idea was to put it all together in the first place and have it to such an operation as it is now? Well, a professional approach, I guess, is... Our manager kind of right. sees all that type of thing, and uh, not wanting, not wanting to rip off any of the fans is a big thing to us. So right. you know, uh, he more or less put together. Would you say? Yes, and with the able assistance of lovely Donna Taylor. Right. Mm -hmm. All you fans writing box one nine seven four four in Houston, Donna Taylor will handle <laughs> your every need. But I mean, the call now. The great thing is that that, that with I mean, like with the name. With uh, the logos and the ideas of the cars and that, it's almost been a, a promoter's dream as, as far as marketing is concerned. Yeah, I guess so. And it sure has. <laughs> um, but it's done with so much style. I mean, even the program is a really stylish program. Um, I mean, do you have much say in all of this? Everything except who gets to drive the car. Right. And we've owned who gets it to talk to the girls. Yeah. Because, I mean, like, I, I just finished reading the Peter Brown book about the Beatles. And... Uh, and it was astonishing, like when the Beatles first came over, 
the rip off by other people where the band didn't have that understanding of merchandising their own yeah. product and they estimate that they could have lost you know nearly a hundred million dollars oh yeah well that was ten, that was 20 years ago yeah and uh learning you know i think everyone's learned by other people's mistakes right you know i mean the whole business the whole uh, music industry has learned from before and i'm sure Beatles mistakes the Beatles mistakes yeah right. <laughs> but uh that that type of thing is handled well around here. right now getting back to uh, to eliminator and to what you were saying you want to go back to recording again. Um, does it, I mean, ever enter you, your heads now, how can we follow this up? I mean, it's like, probably like Michael Jackson, how in the hell is he going to you know, follow up Thriller? Does that, does that, I mean, psychologically hit you when you're writing a new song or what? We thought about it. Yeah. But it's really no fun. You try not to, to dwell on it, yeah. To do yeah. that. Uh, for us, it's just, a question of uh, getting back and writing again. Right. Uh, I don't think there was much thought as, you know, what did it take to make this this record? Uh, well, like but, I, like I said before, you you don't sit down and go, let's write a single. Right. Let's write this. So we don't sit down and go, God, let's write something to equal or, or top up, yeah. eliminator. I mean, uh, you know, you can't do that. You just write. Let's write a song about, you know, matches or something. Right. I don't care, you know. Because the interesting thing also is matches. the fact that what you were saying before where, you know, like uh, you've got the people in their 30s and perhaps their brothers are 14. Uh, with the success of Eliminator, it's now renewed um, sales and like going back to the, almost the first and second, third albums uh, uh, with, with another market. So I suppose that one has to take that into account with everything else. Of when when do you release another track? You know, with all this going so so big now. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, but you you want to be working on it. Yeah. I mean, you know, you want. <laughs> We're just anxious to get in there and start writing again. Yeah. And so I'm, I'm ready, ready to make another record. Well, listen, congratulations on 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 all the success over the last. It's good to have you back too, by the way, and especially Eliminator, and um, you've got a tour and you must come down to Australia. Oh, we will. We must. You'll enjoy it down there. Yeah. We'll be there. We Put want in to there. see a Tasmanian devil. <laughs> no, Errol Flynn's dead. He <laughs>